Hi, I'm back with another planner video. I wanted to quickly show you how I um, minimize flipping in my journal, um, especially when it comes to weeks, to um, my weekly spreads. And you probably can do something like this for your for your um, daily spreads as well, depending on how you set things up. But how I set mine up is that I simply fold over my week like this. So I can see my previous week here, you know, all the next actions that I need to complete. So I can just go through here and see what I did and what I didn't do. And, um, and then I, you know, if, if I had a bad week and I didn't get a lot of these things done, after processing a page and maybe eliminating tasks, um, and, you know, seeing what it is that I actually did do, I can just go over here and write down what I still need to do that's still written there. And it's very simple. There's, you know, none of this, you know, flipping back and forth. And I really like that. And I can do the same thing with my cleaning tasks. They're all right here. So when I flip the page over this way, I can just check, um, write down what it is that I typically do each week right here and um, go on um, without having to flip back and forth. So let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit so you can see what it is that I'm writing down. So right now I have um, AC removal is something that I still need to do. And then I can write down, um, I have this color coded, but I'm not following a color code right now. I'm just doing this for demonstration. Um, on 1021, I have to furnace, to service my furnace. So I'm going to write that down. So you can see that here, so I'm just writing that down again here. And I need to get mad science for my daughter and have her work on her PSAT preparation and have her work on um, volunteering at the nursing home, which is called Baptist Health. And study for her driver's permit if she wants, if she has time to look up scholarships. These are all things that I have to do. Things that I might not necessarily get to, but I just kind of like seeing them over and over again to make sure that I maybe um, get to it on an off moment. So basically, I'm just writing down everything over here that I didn't get to. And, you know, I don't I don't want to keep things on here that I'm not going to work on. Um, so, I mean, really, I honestly do want to work on these things. It just tends, I just, I'm just tending not to work on things as much these days because of all of the, uh, the um, morning sickness that I'm experiencing right now. But uh, generally, I do want to get these things done. These are things that I am that I'm trying to get done. So um, normally, I would just actually try and finish all of those things. So now, here is my uh, um, the things that I have to do in the house. Like I'm getting the diapers. DDL stands for dirty diaper laundry. So you know, I prep the laundry, I wash it, and then I need to fold it, and then I need to do my whites, I need to do my mediums, darks. Um, this is something that recurs, and then I just write over and over again each week. And I, and I like to have this in my weekly view um, because it's just easier for me to see whether I did things or not. I do also like to dust um, 
mop, vacuum, and clean the bathroom once a week. I don't write that down on here anymore because I know that I need to do that and um, I find that I don't really need to put that here to, um, to remind me anymore. And I also put that on my weekly um, recurring task collection that I have over in the back of my journal and I'll do a separate video on that. Um, but I just wanted to show you this folding technique that um, helps that helps keep things um, pretty quick when it comes to writing things down again, rewriting things. Um, you know, from week to week it makes things go really quickly. Um, and you know, as far as my cleaning schedule and um, the frequency in which I do things, that's going to be another video as well. So if you're interested in that, hopefully I'll get um, a video up on the process that I use for that soon. All right. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.